look, bro. Don't be sad, bro. I know you seen the title. I know you seen the thumbnail. That reality has come upon us, bro. By the end of the year, they're going to try to force that vaccine down your throat. So look, man, today's video, I'm going to give you guys the five things that you guys need to do by the end of the year. That way, you're prepared. So without further ado, let's get it. What's going on, y'all? It's your, it's your, it's your boy, Brandon. So look, man, if y'all remember, I made that spiritual warfare video, dog. For all of you guys who have a similar viewpoint to what I have, if you really feel and you really understand what this vaccine is about and you really see where the world is going towards, you need to watch this video. Most people are going to take the vaccine, bro. I'm just going to be honest. There's a lot of people who say, oh, I'm not going to take it, bro. They got to force it down my throat. They ain't going to do this, bro. Motherfucking knocking on your door with guns, forcing that shit down, you gonna take it. When you ain't got no food to eat, bro, and your shit is empty and you can't work and you can't go nowhere and you can't travel, you're going to take that, bro. I don't care what nobody says, bro. Most of these people is cap, cap, cap. Just like the guy who says he's gonna break up with his girlfriend, he goes back cooking the next week. So look, man, me, I've already made my choice. And I'm gonna tell you guys the reasons why. For one, I know that the vaccine is going with the chip. And for those of y'all who read the Bible, you already know that's the mark of the beast. And look, for those of you guys who don't follow uh, the Bible, or the, or the, the God of the Most High, bro, I don't, a lot of you guys aren't even going to take the vaccine because you know, why would you take a vaccine for something that's not going to kill you? We don't take a vaccine for AIDS. We don't take a vaccine for none of this shit. But all of a sudden, we got to take a vaccine for the virus, bro. The virus that I keep telling you guys is not going to kill anybody. And if you actually look at what's going on with the virus with your two eyes and you woke and you understand what's really the truth, you know that this is a, a big fat agenda, bro. This is how I know it is. I want you guys to really look at the whole the whole chip agenda. I want you to look at the name of it. It was passed at 060606. I think it's called like Agenda 2020. I don't know. I'm gonna put a little picture right here so y'all can check it out. But bro, what does that tell you, dog? The the um the ingredient that Bill Gates is gonna use to be able to, for you guys to see the vaccination, it has like Luciferian da 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 da. Like the first half of the word is Lucifer in it, bro. This shit is screaming out that we know what this is really about, bro. And like I keep telling you guys, the spiritual world is slowly migrating with the physical world. That's why if you guys are touched uh, spiritually, you're starting to see more angel numbers, bro. I'm seeing angel numbers everywhere because I understand what's going on. So look, for you guys who's actually gonna follow through with this, you need to make a choice right now, bro. You don't need to make a choice when they're knocking on your door. You don't need to make a choice a month before. You don't need to make a choice before they force you to the hospital, bro. You have to make a choice right now. Guys like Coach Greg Adams, Professor MGTOW, they made their choice. I've made my choice, bro, so I've been preparing. I have been preparing and I want you guys to be prepared too, bro, because quite frankly, I'm out of this bitch, dog. So look, the first thing that you guys need to learn is self-defense and get you some security and get you some ammo, bro. Y'all see, even though I got this cast on my hand, I'm still learning how to box, bro, because I'm gonna have to learn how to fend for myself, bro. I'm gonna have to learn how to defend myself and my family if they choose to come with me. You know, I'm a man, I'm an alpha, bro. And as a wolf, bro, you gotta learn how to, you know what I'm saying, take these punches, bro. You are gonna have to learn how to defend yourself. If you sitting here saying that you're not gonna take a vaccine, but you can get your ass whooped at a moment's notice, bro, you're going to be screwed. Any type of supply, any type of things that you have motherfucker just gonna take your shit they're gonna have a gun what you want you you say you you say you ain't gonna give me that bro you gonna need to learn some type of self-defense so me bro i'm learning boxing i'm learning kickboxing my uncle might teach me jujitsu and another thing that i'm doing bro is i'm getting ammo you know it's so ironic that i told you guys last year i was gonna move to houston in november and then the whole virus thing happened right well, I'm glad that I'm actually moving to Houston, Texas, because as far as getting ammo, California is a very liberal state and you cannot get any type of guns. You cannot get any type of ammunition, bro. So me, I want to get a, a handgun and I want to get an AR. So, bro, I'm going to have to go to Texas to get that ammo, dog. California, bro, they have too many rules and restrictions. But right now what I'm doing is I'm studying which type of guns I should get, what type of ammo I should get, what type of armor I should get. And if you guys want like a tutorial or a guide, you can look it up on YouTube. But a really good channel that you can follow is Professor MGTOW, bro. He shows you his battle belt, the type of guns he has, the clips he has. 
et cetera, et cetera. I told y'all this is gonna be like real life Call of Duty, bro. Y'all, I'll be telling y'all these movies and these games is programming you for what's really gonna happen. This shit is wild. The next thing that you wanna do, bro, is get in great physical shape. Why do you think I got Herbalife? Why do you think your boy's still rocking drunk? Because I'm getting the best shape of my life. Because obviously, if you're not going to be in the regular society, you are going to need to have to be in great shape. Why do you think I'm taking these Herbalife products? Why do you think I got the black seed oil? Bro, I'm getting in the best shape of my fucking life, man. I'm working hard. I'm working hard. I'm working hard. If you guys are going to be a guy who's overweight, who can't outrun anything, who can't you know what I'm saying? You walk down the street and you huh, 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 like you Homer Simpson. Do you really think that you're going to survive in a in an area where it's going to really literally be survival of the fittest and your ass got a beer belly? You will literally get destroyed within the first couple of days, dog. The third thing that you need to do is that you need to take advantage of money trends right now. You know, right now, cryptocurrency is going crazy. If y'all follow my boy, Giga HD, he been racking it up. He been racking it up with the cryptocurrency. So I'm actually getting into that. Um, at this point right now, I don't really know what's going to happen with the US dollar. So I'm seeing he making money, bro. I know I can make money because pretty much they're just inflating the market and they're devaluing the US dollar. So if you're buying things like Bitcoin and I think Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies, you can make a pretty good profit right now, especially since, like I said, they're just printing money out the wazoo. The Federal Reserve is trying to fuck you over right now. So if you guys know anything about trading and you know how to make some good money, hit up Giga HD and I'm also going to join his thing. So down the line, if you guys want to learn how I learn, hit me up as well. But you guys need to stack up as much money as possible. So that way you can actually prepare towards those months before they switch everything over to the digital dollar. And this is the shit that really blows my mind, bro. You see that they got a vaccine. You see that they got a chip. You see that they're going to a cashless society where you can't buy or sell unless you actually have a digital dollar. And yet you still choose not to believe the fucking shit that I'm telling people. Like, bro, people are literally asleep, dog. And it's, it's, it's insane. It's batshit crazy that people do not see what's going on. National coin shortage all of a sudden, bro. All of a sudden, national coin service uh, shortage. So you saying that the virus can can go on to coins and dollars, but the virus can't stick to a physical mask? Does that even make any sense? So look, bro, you know, if you guys are really trying to get some money right now, take advantage of the cryptocurrency, all right? The fourth thing that you guys need to do is you need to build strong connections. You need to find people who are who understand what's going on just like you, other red pill guys, other people that are woke or out the matrix, whatever you wanna call it, and you need to build connections. Now, these are the people that you need to avoid. People who are just complaining about, oh, the government is terrible and, oh, they're, they're sacrificing kids and all this. Bro, look, I get that you want to understand what's going on, bro. But if you do not got solutions, what is the point of me listening to you, bro? I'm solution oriented. I'm action oriented. I'm not trying to hear you complain about how terrible the world is and how we're all going to die, bro. You're going to take action and you're going to be a little bitch. So I'm building connections with guys who's actually taking action. Yeah, I still got my friends. I still got my homies. I still got my family. But I'm actually on the search right Right now to get a community because as you guys know there is strength in numbers and if you can find some really strong allies and some really good relationships who can not only connect you with getting ammo uh learning how to fight taking care of your health helping you get around you know what i'm saying it's gonna be like uh the underground railroad dog motherfuckers gonna have to be sneaking around and shit visiting people's houses bro so you gonna need some connections bro wherever you go whether it's uh florida new york washington dc idaho it don't really matter and the last thing, bro, is enjoy your time while it lasts, bro. You know, it's crazy because at the end of last year, everybody thought that, yo, 2020 was the year. 2020 was the year I was going to do big things. You know me, bro. I didn't even have a connection with the most high, bro. I was just doing my thing. I'm like, bro, I'm going to make this money. I'm going to get these baddies, bro. I'm going to do it big. I'm going to go on all these trips, bro. I'm going to see my mom in Jamaica. And, bro, all that shit got taken, got, got taken from me, bro. All of it, man. And it's so crazy how this year is just flying by, bro. It's almost about to be August, bro. Almost about to be August. This virus has been going on since February. So you got to really relish the moments with the people you love, bro. Because you might, I'm just like, I'm just tell you like this, bro. You might not see them again. I'm probably not going to see my grandma again, bro. I'm probably not going to see my family again. And it hurts me to say this, bro, but... My mom is in Jamaica right now and I can't even see her, bro. That's one of the worst things and that's one of the painful things. And if I had looked back and I had thought about it, 
would have spent as much time with her as I possibly could, but you know, you're one of the chosen ones, bro. You one of the chosen ones. So you gotta be strong, dog. You gotta be strong, you gotta be resilient, bro. Most people don't understand us. Most people don't understand where we're coming from. Most people think that we're crazy. But look, man, you and I both know what's really going on here, dog. And at the end of the day, bro, if nobody got us, the most high got us, bro. And that's the last thing, bro. Y'all make sure y'all build a connection with the most high, bro, because I'm gonna tell you like this, bro. It's been a lot of shit happening this year and I would not be anywhere where I'm at right now if it wasn't for him leading me down the right path, bro. At the end of the day, bro, I read a book by Napoleon Hill, Outwitting the Devil. And the one thing that he said is you gotta have faith over fear. It's a lot of fear out here. It's a lot of fear out here. It's a lot of people in tears out here, dog. People's afraid to go outside. But you gotta be fucking strong, bro. You gotta be a fucking alpha, bro. You gotta get it by any means necessary, bro. You wanna get yourself to the promised land? We well, gotta have fucking strength. You gotta have fucking strength, bro. Because nobody else got it right now but us. If anybody don't got us, we got us, man. So look, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, bro. I know this is a touchy subject, but I had to tell you guys this, bro. I can't just let you guys go out there fucking blindly if you choose to do what I do. And if you're just watching this for entertainment purposes, hey, my dude, good luck with the chip, bro. Have fun with that shit, because I'm not fucking with it. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button, comment down below. And if you're new, subscribe to your boy. And also, if you guys want to connect with me on a more personal level, bro, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Snapchat. Y'all see, y'all see my social media post right here. But anyways, man, I'm out this motherfucker. I love y'all.